I'm sure many of you have come across Rufford Ford at the moment. The council's closed it. Uh, there's been many videos on YouTube of cars going through there and failing. Have you ever wondered why? Modern cars are incredibly waterproof. All the connectors on the electrics are waterproof. There's seals everywhere. You really could immerse a car in a lake and bring it back out and it should run fine once you've got rid of all the water. So why are all these engines failing? The piston squashes the air, then it explodes and pushes it down. You can see here as I squash the air in this syringe, the air is squashy. But as soon as you get water in there, not anymore. It's called hydraulicking the engine. The piston can squash the air, but when you fill it with water, it stops dead <laughs> and the engine can't rotate. That rotating engine has quite a bit of inertia in it and it wants to continue to rotate and so it does for a second and it bends the con rod smashing it up against the piston or pushing a hole in the block. And that's it, the engine's written off. That whole engine has to be replaced and it's very costly. If you like this content, tune in for one more video on the Rufford Ford. Why do cars fail on the way out?